the dark room, La, in her down sleeping bag. So what's the deal, La? Gloves. Hat. Gloves. Let me see the gloves. Hat. In the sleeping bag. Sweatpants. Are you Please pants. Are you Please cold? top. Are you Wool cold, socks. honey? <laughs> yes. Cold. <laughs> Okay, sunrise, we're in Dingboche, about 14,500 feet, and La, Hi. what up? Uh, it's about 43 degrees in our room, so I'm sitting in my sleeping bag, and we're packing up, like we do every morning, at 7.30 for breakfast. Coming through fifteen thousand. Nearing the summit. Rami in the lead. Here we have a tremendous view of Makalu, one of the tallest mountains in the world, right there. Almost as tall as Everest, Makalu. And then if you follow this meltwater from Everest's glacier, the Kumbu Glacier, up, you see this big pile of, it looks like in a billion tons of gravel. That's a glacial moraine, and there's a lake behind it. There's a crows flying around up here, right here. Pretty amazing. What's your final thoughts as we well, Everest come down? Well, Everest has never looked more beautiful than it does today ferocious winds on the top, ferocious beauty. Um, I think we're glad to be going down. It's been a great trek, but this is a very emotional sight. <laughs> <laughs>